so a lot of the problem here at Pleasant View are these humongous trees um, which I'm sure were obviously not like this 60 70 years ago but it really takes a toll on the cemetery so these would be my great-grandparents Wade which I never met They died right before I was born, a couple of years. But you can see just how sad and shabby it is. And you can see, you know, what's happening to the headstones here. It's just sad. And this is just a, a taste. You know, we have like these really old One's here. Probably somebody's here. It's not marked. Just lots of dead flowers. The trees, I know, make it hard to keep the weeds out. But it, it just really looks bad. Some parts, obviously, are not as bad as others. But this side, I think, is in a lot worse shape than the other side. And I think the trees are a lot of it. I probably should move back so you can see the canopy. Not get into the fire ants nest here. And this is just sad. You see, I and mean, you can see how far the canopy reaches over. And down here is, you can see part of the fence they never repaired. They did fix the headstones, but there was a big tree fell down there. It's just really, really bad condition on this side. And a lot of it, I'm sure, you know, these people, their families have died out or moved away. And if nothing else, this church should have a committee come and get this trash and this brush up. I, I don't know. I've already pushed up one headstone that fell over at the top of the cemetery next to Granny. It was a baby's. I, it's just sad.